guys. How you going? Friday the 3rd of uh, November. Day off. Uh, gonna shift some fish just today and do a little bit of maintenance. So, welcome to my channel. If you're new, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, I won't make it too long because this is another batch of cherry barbs, six weeks old or something. Gonna break that down and see how many. And then get the females back in there for another score next week. So while I'm here, I'll do a quick update of what's going on. A couple of things have changed, but not that much. I've got a, quite a bit of maintenance to catch up over the next week or two. So yeah, move on to that. I'll show you a quick look at the tanks. Okay, guys, first hand. Apologise, a lot of refrec reflection and not show tanks. All the ones in here are breeding tanks, but. This first one here, batch of cribs, thinking about 70. Not sure how old though, maybe three months now. Growing quite good. So, um, yeah, not the best to look at it, but the fish are happy. So that's the main thing. There is um, eight, eight or so adult catfish. Oh, you might be seeing a male there. But I don't seen, they don't seem to be breeding in there. Okay, second tank down here. Um, I don't know whether you can see them. Just got two female platies because in the other tank where they were, I seen a drop of platies, but I only saw them because they were getting taken out as soon as they come out of the Java moss. And because um, there's like 90 plus fish in the tank they were in. So I just grabbed two females. Oh, where they are. Oh, maybe one at the back there. See her down there. I did see one in the stones today. So I thought they might have dropped by now. They're only a week, but I'll give them another week. Part of the reason I'm clearing out the other tank with the cherry bulbs too, because I was going to use this one for another spawn. You can see her at the back there. But, um, yeah, but I'm going to give them the chance to drop in there. Two females, who knows? We'll see what happens. Okay. Up here, another batch of cribs. These ones are about two months, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but um, same thing here. Totally overgrown, but the fish are very happy. They're growing good. So, there you go. Down here, this is the one I'm going to break down. I'm not sure how many. I'm thinking... 30-ish, but it's always, I never know until I break it down. So I'll break this down. I won't show you the full process. You just take the filter out and the heater and I'll save, well, that's like 60 litres in there. So I'll save about 40 litres and the sponge filter with the water and um, put it back in and then get the females in and um, yeah, Leave them three or four days and then chuck the males in next week when I've got time to take them out. 24 hours later or whatever. Okay. Up here. This one has changed a bit. First of all, thanks to Anthony for the bacopa or I'm not exactly sure what it was, but he was cleaning out mate around the corner, cleaning out his tank and he dropped some of that off. So I've just put that in there. Here's some duckweed. Um, cherry shrimp in here. I was going to take them all out. Had a guy come to buy a huge amount, and um, I did the shrimp trap, which seven of you watched, thanks for that, no worries, but anyway, um, I'm not sure how many in there, like 50 or 60, they're all around the place, and I put some java moss in from this other tank up here I'll show you in a minute, that was, had a lot of algae and moss, whatever, so I put it in there, and like it's probably been week and a half or something and you can see it's really starting to grow off so i might clean some more from the other tank and start growing out some more java moss in there so that's going good i did take 150 shrimp out of there so but there is enough there that within three four months it'll be back to what it was so that's good down here crib parents I don't know if you're going to see babies, they don't like it when I get close. But there is, like, a week and a half, two week old babies in there. Love those parents. They just keep pumping them out. So, 
um, yeah you might be able to see a few around the lights not really good on there but there is another batch of babies so this tank over here another two weeks or so like I've got a lot to catch up on um, probably break that one down and catch them out and put them in with that batch and then put the parents up there because the cribs in the land room tank aren't doing nothing okay over here just uh i don't know nearly 80 cherry barbs growing out and i did have 16 of the um platies in there and this is where i've seen the platies coming out of here see the java moss there it's you know it needs cleaning out but it's come back really good in the other tank so i'll get on to that when i've got some time and um this needs a bit of a clean up but once again the fish are really happy they're not show tanks they're all just bloody breeding tanks basically in the garage down here need dead some water um tank of cherry shrimp so i don't know how many in there but i've got enough so that yeah no dramas at all okay this is a tank i set up a couple of weeks but i don't know if you can see down there there's a few cherry shrimp maybe 10 or so this is where I caught all the shrimp out and had them holding in here. And I was going to grow them out in there, but I've changed my mind. This one's going to, when I catch the cherry barbs out, this is where that batch of cherry barbs go. Okay, this one here, very, haven't, this one hasn't been done for, I don't know, two, three years. The moam is like that thick in the gravel on the bottom. When I caught... I caught 450 shrimp out of here, so he took 600 in total, and I did have to agree with him that they were medium to low grade, so anyway, we, we came up with a deal for the 600 that we were both happy with, and there is, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to do this next week, break it down, there is a few shrimp in there, but I might lose a few, I'll do my best not to, but there's about 30... 30 or 40 um, bristle nose left in there that I don't uh, exactly know various sizes. I think there were three batches initially, but I moved quite a few on, but there's still some left. But I have been doing 30% water changes twice a week on this, and it's clearing up okay now, but um, I'm going to have to break it down, take all the younger catfish out, and maybe put the parents back in and go for some more over here got the angels and I don't know what it was 58 or something cherry barbs just growing down once again duckweed and all the bloody uh, uh, water sprite is taking off I'm gonna have to chuck some of that but that's that's going really good got the old matten filter set up here double layer yeah they're double layer doing good okay down here growing out some swords once again the water sprite and duckweed's taken over. i'm gonna have to throw a lot of water sprite out and there's the first batch of cribs in there i'm not maybe i have 49 so maybe i've got you know 19 left or something i don't know because he the guy who took the shrimp also agreed to take 30 so that's good that's a, a new contact and you know don't make as much but you shift them all in bulk so i was very happy with this one because i've still got two tanks to shoot up here they're all running away now still denison barbs grow out i've got nothing in this section here just denison barbs maybe i don't know six really large adult male catfish that are I consider too old to be breeding oh, Barbies come back they're doing good the barbs 10 months I've had them now I'm not sure something like that but um yeah eight centimeters now so they were like three when I got them so that's good and in this section just some uh naja grass that I took out to save for some stupid reason from uh, when I was catching all the shrimp out down here, more naja grass in there. Each of the, I got this divided into four sections um, and just pumping the water up and then back through the 
Japanese mat and filter style things, but there is four catfish in each one, two, three adult sword tails in here, and in each section there's three or four swords. So there's ten or twelve that got through the barriers and didn't get eaten. This one here, and yeah, they're all hiding at the back. Got the um, female cherry bubs breeding. Males in here and in here. You can see a couple of swords and some catfish and celestial pearl danios in there. Okay, so there you go. Just a hobbyist. Been doing for over 45 years, and um, yeah, there you go. So now I'll get on to breaking this down. I won't show you the process. I'll just tell you how many I get in the end and get it set up. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome back 40 minutes later. Caught them all out. Well, they've been acclimating two liters from the old one, two from the one they're gonna go into. Gonna put it all back in. Um, 48, got 48. So that's pretty good. In the last batch of 58, there was two with crooked spines not swimming properly but all these look good so try to remember which males i put in last time anyway there you go so it's gonna whack them in here exactly the same temperature uh, this one here i only put 20 percent new water and i put the old water back in cleaned out the container and put new stones in got majority of snails out there's still a few snails but don't have to worry about snails taking out eggs too much with cherry barbs because gestation period is like 24 36 hours they hatch really quick if you had some that four or five day gestation you make sure you got no snails just chuck the extra naja grass in there so if those platies do drop a lot more coverage for them so yeah there you go Another little chore done. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing or leave a comment, ask any questions, answer them if I can. And um, enjoy your fish. Thank you very much. See you next time when I'm doing something else. Probably won't be that long because I've still got a lot of maintenance to do. Bye.